2017 is over, and while the world prepares their outfits for their yearly January visit to the gym, let's look back at the last 12 months, shall we? 2017 started with Trump taking over the free world. Billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and Cryptocurrency became a thing. Congressman, what do you think of Bitcoin? Well, I think it's a mystery to a lot of people and there's a lot of mystery associated with it that is it's to me as well. More terror. There are multiple fatalities, many injured, and thousands upon thousands of traumatized and frightened concert growers. North Korea claims it has successfully tested a hydrogen bomb, a device which can be loaded onto a long-range ballistic missile. A bunch of perverts in Hollywood finally got what was coming to them. Decades of sexual harassment claims against Weinstein. Netflix has cut ties with actor Kevin Spacey as he faces allegations of sexual assault and harassment. And this girl was given her 15 minutes of fame. Catch me outside, how about that? Catch you outside? Personally, I bought my first new car. Ooh. I moved in with a roommate, I gave blood for the first time, I bought a drone and crashed it. Ooh. I decided to stay in Cayman. I made a video about wearing Speedos and got a bunch of perverts following and messaging me, but I'm still gonna keep wearing a Speedo. I mean, it's comfortable, just let me live. Probably the biggest thing for me this year is I actually started enjoying my job for the first time in my career. Being challenged and feeling like you're contributing to a bigger picture does wonders for the soul. As many of you know, my primary goal right now is to travel as much as possible. This year, I visited both sister islands, Cayman Brack and Little Cayman. I went home for my cousin's wedding. I went back to Anaheim for VidCon, saw Bruno Mars in Washington DC, and traveled around Jamaica. I'm a jet setter. The Jamaica video is coming soon. This year, I've got Canada and South Korea in my sights. I kicked off this year with my parents on a yacht overlooking the world famous Seven Mile Beach, and I'll most likely be ending it on that very same beach while hotels make things explode above my head. Not a bad way to end off the year. According to the Chinese, 2018 is the year of the dog. That's a good thing, right? Dogs are cute and fluffy. It's so fluffy! And loyal and joyful and... Squirrel! 2018 is going to be awesome. If 2017 was about finding my voice, 2018 is about using it. I wish you and your loved ones a very happy, healthy, and prosperous 2018. Thank you for the support this year, for watching my videos and sharing them, for joining in on the conversation and messaging me when they helped you out, or even just messaging me to say hi. Thank you for liking, subscribing, following, ringing bells, and all that amazing stuff that makes the dopamine level spike. Happy New Year. Yeah.